I just bought a Blazer C3050K wireless switch panel or a wireless relay system. It's super simple to install as all you need to do is connect your positive 12 volt and your ground and this box works. There is a 48 hour shutdown mode so it's not always active if you connect it to straight to your battery. You can also connect this to a relay system and then have that relay coil charged with a switch 12 volt um, in your fuse panel or something like that. But if you really want a simple installation, 12 volt ground you're, and you're good to go. I picked this thing up mainly because of the simplicity of how it's going to work. You just leave this guy, it's like a garage door opener in the cab of your truck and you don't have to drill any holes in your firewall and you don't need to cut through any grommets and route wires through and then kind of figure out how everything's going to go underneath the dash. So let's t take this thing apart, see what it looks like underneath before I show you the operation of it. It's eight channels. The biggest channel is 20 amps and then it goes to 5, 3.5 and 1.5. The reason for that is that this is only 12 gauge wiring and each channel has its individual fuse at 30 amps which makes sense it adds up to all of these channels being used at its full at their full loads anyways this system is not waterproof so four phillips screws in the back and you can get the top cover off i think the board is glued to the back cover so i'm not pulling that completely off i just received it and i don't want to do that these terminals I believe they can take up to a 12 amp wire or 12 gauge wire. They can definitely take 16 gauge, which is what I'm going to be wiring all my lights with. Anyways, it's basically two four channel wireless relay boards. You have three of them are 20 amp relays, and then the one in the back is a 40 amp closed and 30 amp open, I believe. Sorry, reverse that. 40 amp open, 30 amp closed. And then there's a fifth relay in the back. And that's just uh, to turn on this board when this gets power. So you'll hear a lot of clicking when this thing gets used. Uh, other features, according to the box, there's a sleep timer. So it turns off after 48 hours. And then if you look into the owner's manual, there's the input low voltage protection is 9.5 volts. And then the low voltage protection circuit is 9.8 volts. So I guess it shuts off when the voltage is at 9.8 and it won't accept anything under 9.5. Let's take a look at how this works. So I have six lights hooked up to it right now. These are the lights that I'm gonna run with the Blazer system, but not in this kind of crazy wiring fashion. This is just to demonstrate how all the different channels work. In reality, I'm gonna have all four of the rock lights hooked up to one three and a half amp channel, and then these two floodlights hooked up to a five amp, ch five amp channel. Should be good to go. So, Right now I just have wired six channels up to show you how everything works. I've left the 20 amp channels empty because I just don't need to run them and I don't actually have any more lights. So let's take a look at how this all goes. You'll hear the first relay click right there. From what I believe that that's that relay is also going to shut off once the computer in here senses that it's below nine and a half volts and anyways so let's get started this is just a milwaukee m12 battery so i don't know how much of a load it can take but it should be fine for this anyways let's get started so you have one 1.5 amp then you have your three amp and then you have your five amp all on your blue channel and then you do the same for your green channel there you go it's a slow switch so if I double click it doesn't really do anything so you kinda have to wait a second between clicks so you can't really strobe it 
but there you go blazer wireless system working to sum everything up i know this is a very light duty system especially with the 1.5 amp channels but i think if you hook up a separate relay to those light duty channels and then have those relays connected to the battery you can run whatever load you want and still have it be triggered wirelessly one interesting application i thought of was you could have perimeter lights or puddle lights hooked up especially if you wire it like this where the control unit is always hot if you're 50 feet away from your truck press a button and then you have lighting around your truck um, obviously the other benefits are you don't have to drill any holes through your firewall to run a bundle of wires through you don't have to force a bundle of wires through an existing grommet in your firewall and you also don't have to snake around underneath your dash just to figure out where to mount the switch panel if for a wired uh, switch panel system all in all I think this is a very neat product and if you're just trying to hook up some lights or some 12 volt accessories this is the easiest way you could possibly do it